So how much faith does a person need? That's sort of like asking, what's a boarding pass look like? So when I get on a Southwest flight, I have my boarding pass on my phone and they scan it and I get on. And if you have it on your phone or if you print it out or some other means, you go ahead and get on. How much faith do you have to have? So in Luke chapter 17 and verse 5, the disciples say to Jesus, increase our faith. Wait a second. These were people who had left everything to follow Jesus. Didn't they already have faith? How much faith does a person need? Well, let's answer it four ways. Luke chapter 24, a thief on the cross says to Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Jesus says, today you'll be with me in paradise. You have to have faith enough to say, remember me when you come in your kingdom, Jesus. Or, in Luke chapter 11, they said, teach us to pray. You have to have enough faith to say to Jesus, show me how to pray. Or, how about in Luke chapter 6, where Jesus teaches, they had enough faith to listen to Jesus' teaching. And, how about this? In Luke chapter 17, they had enough faith to want faith. So it seems to me that if you have enough faith to say to Jesus, remember me when you come to your kingdom, if you have enough faith to want to learn how to pray, if you have enough faith to listen to Jesus when we come to, say, church or Bible study or when you read your Bible on your own, and if you have enough faith to want to have faith, you've got faith. Now, what about doubts? Well, remember that the one Jesus said was the greatest man in the history of the world up till that time, John the Baptist, in Luke chapter 7, had doubts. But Jesus gives him more evidence and helps him with his doubts. So, if you have doubts, don't worry about that. John the Baptist had doubts, and he was able to make it through. Faith, enough to say, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Enough to give praying a try, to listen to Jesus' teaching. Enough faith to want to have faith. That means you have faith. You see, we don't save ourselves by our faith. God saves us. It's our faith. It simply hangs on to God. I hope you're having a great day in the Lord today, and I hope the Lord is really day by day teaching you new truth and encouraging you. Pray for the church and pray for me. Good news that uh, Paul made it through the storm. Okay, so thank you so much for your prayers. Seek first the kingdom of God, and remember the words of Jesus. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen.